Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do you have to pay taxes on divorce settlements? NN divorce settlements can be complex and involve various financial components. Understanding the tax implications is crucial. Generally, divorce settlements may include alimony, child support, and property division. NN alimony, now referred to as spousal support, has specific tax rules. For divorces finalized after 2018, alimony payments are not tax deductible for the payer. The recipient does not have to report alimony as income, and end child support payments are treated differently. Child support is not taxable income for the recipient. The payer cannot deduct child support payments from their taxable income. Denen property division in a divorce is another significant aspect. Transferring property between spouses as part of a divorce settlement is typically not a taxable event. This means that neither party will owe taxes on the transfer. NN, however, future taxes may apply if the property is sold. The cost basis of the property carries over to the receiving spouse. This will affect capital gains tax when the property is eventually sold. N retirement accounts and pensions can also be part of divorce settlements. Dividing these assets may have tax consequences. A qualified domestic relations order, QDRO, is often necessary to avoid penalties. NNI is essential to consult a tax professional or attorney for personalized advice. Each divorce case is unique and may have specific tax implications. N. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.